come to a seated position. Cross your legs, whichever way feels most comfortable. Bring your hands to your knees, facing down for grounding up for receiving. And we're gonna do some stretches through our neck and shoulders to start out. So inhale your shoulders up towards your ears, squeeze them in, feel all those muscles begin to activate. Then exhale, bring them down and back. Bring your chin to your chest and then slowly roll your neck around, bringing right ear to right shoulder. Exhale, bring your neck up and back. Inhale, left ear to left shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Opposite side. So inhale as you roll your left ear to left shoulder. Exhale, up and back. Inhale, right ear to right shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Bring your head to center. Bring your right hand underneath your right glute. Let me take off my ring. Bring your right hand underneath your right glute and bring your elbow crease so it's facing out so that your shoulder stays lifted up and back. Inhale your left arm overhead. Grab for your right ear and exhale, pull your head down to the side. Left ear to left shoulder. Feel this through from your um, collarbone up through your neck. Keep breathing and you can rotate your neck down to look at your left armpit. Keep that right shoulder lifted up and back. You can keep your gaze down or you can bring it back to the side or you can find slow, small movements moving your head down and up. Three breaths here. Two, one, release your right side of your head, release your left arm down, switch your hands out. So left palm facing up, face it underneath your left glute, left elbow crease facing out, shoulder lifted up and back, open. Inhale your right arm up overhead. Exhale, grab for your left ear, pull your head over to the right side. Notice the difference in this side. Maybe you feel a little more tugging. Maybe it's a little more open. No judgment, just noticing and breathing through the feeling. You can stay here. You can slowly rotate your head down so your gaze is facing your right armpit. And then you can rotate back and forth if you'd like. Three breaths here. Two. One. Release your right arm. As you inhale, exhale, bring both hands on either side. Then interlace your fingers like this. Bring it behind the base of your neck, right up at the base of your skull. Take an inhale, feel your chest open wide. Maybe you look up slightly. Exhale, bring your chin to your chest, using your hands at the base of your neck, maybe even higher up on your head to bring your neck down towards your chest. You can keep your chin on your chest or you can rotate your head left and right. And remember it's chin towards your chest. If it doesn't touch, that's totally fine. Here for three. Two, 
one, slowly lift your head up, last seated stretch here, bring your right hand down to the mat, palm facing down, lift your left arm overhead, take an inhale, exhale, side body stretch, feel this from your left hip crease through your side body all the way through your armpit up over your head, bend your right elbow generously. Keep your left shoulder lifted up and back. Here for three, two, one. Inhale, both arms overhead. Exhale, left hand to the mat, right arm overhead. Keep your right shoulder lifted up and back. Feel this again through your right hip all the way up through your right shoulder. Here for three. Two, one. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Come to a tabletop position. Find some stability. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, your knees over your hips. And then from here, extend your right leg out long. Engage your core as your right leg lifts out. You can stay here if this is enough or extend your left arm out long palm facing inward. Keep this balance challenge here. Engage that core. Stay as you inhale or exhale. Bring your elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Keep that core engaged to help with the stability. Here for just four, three, two, one. Find tabletop. Then bring your left leg out long, flex your left toes towards your left shin. Stay here if this is enough, keeping that leg lifted, finding that balance, engaging your core. Or maybe you bring your right arm out long, palm facing in again. This might be enough. Hold this space if this feels good, this balance challenge. Or as you inhale, lengthen, lift your leg and arm. Exhale, squeeze, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Keep going. You've got this. Here for just four, three, two, one. Find tabletop. And then find your variations of cat cow for a moment. You can do natural cat cow, as you know. You can also move your wrists around, finding circles. Bring your hip back. Or you can find that belly low, lifting up. And then gaze between your thighs, lift between each vertebrae. Whatever you decide, remember this is your time, this is your practice. Take one more cat cow or whatever you like, two breaths. Walk your hands towards the top of the mat. Take an inhale. Exhale, puppy pose. Press your chest down towards the mat. Keep your hips over your knees. Your chin can come to the mat here to get a deeper opening or your third eye center can come to the mat. Heart towards the mat, it does not need to touch. Feel this through your shoulders, through your arms, all the way through your armpits. We'll be here for a few breaths, really settling in, opening those shoulder girdles.
here for three, two, one. Inhale to tabletop. Exhale to find center. Flip your toes over. Lift your knees up just an inch off the mat. Hold here for three. Continue to breathe. Two, down dog in one. Hips up and back. Chest towards your thighs. I'm going to take off my shirt. Find center in your down dog by rotating your elbow creases in towards your ears. And pressing down through each fingertip as wide as you can. Heels towards the mat. They don't need to touch by any means. Hips super high. Bend your knees as generously as you'd like. Feel your shoulders pull away from your ears. Here for three. Breathe for two. One. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, ragdoll pose. Walk your feet to meet your hands. Keep your feet about hips width distance apart. Two fists between your knees is a good rule of thumb. You can grab for opposite elbows and relax, or you can interlace your fingers behind your low back, finding that grip, and then bringing that grip overhead for a chest expansion in ragdoll pose. Let your head hang heavy, whichever variation you're in. We'll be here again for a few breaths, really letting our body open up, listening to each space that we lean into. Here for three, two, One. Release your grip down to the mat. Toe heel your feet to touch and slow as you can roll up to the standing. Palms open by your side, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Then inhale, bring your palms up and bring them to touch as you exhale hands to heart center. So I'm a CTP, standing at attention pose, whatever this means to you. If you have something, someone that you would like to dedicate your practice to, lean into that now. Give yourself a moment of release and peace, knowing the next 50 minutes are for you, working on you and expanding your body and mind. Show up as you can but don't overwork yourself. Love yourself enough to know where to draw the line and where to push yourself, finding that evenness, that alignment. As a mantra, I invite you to say to yourself, I'm doing the best I can with the time, information, and energy I have in this moment. Feel that with a big inhale, big exhale. Release your hands by your side. Inhale, mountain pose, reach high. Fingertips come overhead, fingertips wide. Rotate your pinkies in as you continue to breathe. Tuck your tailbone, find a slight bend in your knees. Exhale, baby back bend. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lift your heart up, look up and back. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Hinge from your hips, hands down to the mat. Head hangs heavy. Bend your knees generously. Inhale, halfway lift. Realign your spine, fingertips to your shins, thighs or outer hips. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, finding a flat back, a long vertebrae here from your neck down to your um, tailbone. Take another inhale, exhale, plank pose, hands to the mat, feet come back. Hold here as your chest opens wide, finding your alignment. Then inhale, come about two inches forward. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows in, shoulders over your, in line with your elbows. Inhale, up dog, flip your toes over, tuck your tailbone, lift your thighs up off the mat. Collarbone, smile. Exhale, down dog, hips up and back. Chest towards your thighs. 
Take a big inhale, big exhale. We'll do that two more times, this time moving breath to movement. You've been here before, listen to your body, pay attention to how you feel in each pose and trying to strengthen where needed and let go as well. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Find your feet to meet your hands, however they get there. Inhale, halfway lift, finding that flat back. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the mat, head, let's go. Inhale, roll up to standing, palms to heart center, standing at attention, exhale. Inhale, mountain pose, reach high. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, reach high, mountain. Exhale, forward fold, hinge from your hips, hands down to the mat. Let your head hang heavy, even shake it out. Inhale, halfway lift, find that flat back, realign your spine, long tailbone. Exhale, plank pose, hands to the mat, feet come back. Inhale, two inches forward. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows in, core engage. Inhale, up dog, flip your toes over, tuck your tailbone, look up. Exhale, down dog. <sighs> One more time here. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Walk your feet to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Lift up through your spine. Find a flat back, fingertips to shins, thighs, or outer hip. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll up to standing, vertebrae by vertebrae. Palms meet at heart center as you exhale. Inhale, mountain, reach high. Exhale, baby back bend, squeeze your shoulder blades. Together, inhale, mountain, reach high, fingertips wide. Exhale, fold forward, hands down to the mat, let your head go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, or exhale, plank pose, hands to the mat, feet come back. Inhale, two inches forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Keep your core engaged. Inhale, up dog. Lift your thighs off the mat, open your shoulders, lift up out of your wrists, exhale, down dog. Awesome. Take a moment here, inhale, exhale. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. We'll do this one more time. Exhale, forward fold, feet meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, ground down as you reach high. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, mountain pose, lift high. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold forward, hinge from your hips. Bend your knees a lot. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank pose, hands to the mat, feet back. Inhale, two inches forward. Exhale, engage your core, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, tuck your tailbone, exhale, down dog. Awesome, we'll go through our Sun V series next. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, forward fold, walk your feet to meet your hands. You can jump to get there, walk however you'd like. Inhale, halfway lift, find a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, sit low as you reach high, arms overhead, ground down through your heels. Take a look down at your toes, make sure your knees aren't hovering over them. If they are, bring some weight back. Shoulders relax down away from your ears. Fingertips wide, take another inhale. Exhale, sit a little lower. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, lift your right leg up off the mat, balancing on your left foot. Exhale, slowly release back. Crescent lunge, palms, or I forget the name of this crescent lunge, but your arms come back with you. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, low crescent lunge, hands to the mat. Bring your right knee down. Adjust your footing however you need to here. I like to bring my foot up a little higher towards the top of the mat. Right hand firmly into the mat. Inhale, easy twist. Stack your shoulders. Look up at your left fingertips. You can keep your right knee on the mat or you can lift that knee up. Try to keep your hips square. So if that means twisting your torso more, that might be in your practice tonight. Continue to breathe here for three. Horizon lunge in two. 
one horizon lunge, open up to the knife edge of both of your feet. Feel the outer edges of your feet, lean into the mat, your hip open up, your left arm come long. Here for three, two, one, low lunge, hands to the mat on either side. Release your right knee down. Inhale, low crescent lunge, arms overhead. Exhale, bend your left elbow with your right hand, squeezing it in. Stay here as you continue to breathe, push your hips forward. You can keep grabbing for your left elbow or behind you, you can grab and interlace your fingers like so, finding cow face arms. Push your hips forward. Keep your left shoulder open. Here for three, two, one. Inhale, low crescent lunge, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to the mat, low lunge. Lift your right knee up off the mat. Take an inhale. Exhale, forward fold, right foot meets your left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, sit low, reach high again. Shoulders relax down, ground down through your heels, sit back a little and sit down a little lower. Take an inhale. Exhale, sit lower. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, one-legged mountain. Lift your left leg this time. Balance through your right foot. Take an inhale. Exhale, crescent lunge, airplane arms. That's what it is. Slowly release your left foot back. Hip square, chest down. Inhale, high crescent lunge, arms overhead. Exhale, low lunge, hands down to the mat. You can bring your left knee down if you'd like. Bring your left hand down firmly into the mat. Inhale, easy twist, stack those shoulders. Feel that twist in your upper body. You can also, again, keep your left knee down on the mat or you can lift it up. Try and keep your hips square by twisting that torso just a little bit more, looking up at your right fingertips. Here for three. Horizon lunge in two. One, horizon lunge, open up to the knife edge opening of both of your feet. Look down at your right fingertips. Feel this through your right IT band. Here for three, two, one. Find low lunge. Release your left knee onto the mat. Inhale, high or low crescent lunge rather. Exhale, bend your right elbow, grab it with your left hand. Right palm facing your back here. Then you can grab and interlace fingers here behind your back for cow face arms again. Keep your chest open wide and facing the front here. Big breath in, big breath out. Another big inhale, big exhale. Inhale your arms overhead, exhale low lunge, hands to the mat. Lift up off your back knee, take an inhale. Exhale, forward fold, left foot meets your right, head hangs heavy. We'll do that again, this time, moving breath to movement, release your neck, bend your knees generously, let go for a moment. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, sit low, reach high. Exhale as you sit lower. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, balance on your left foot, right leg lift. Exhale, crescent lunge, airplane arms. With control, pivot up off of that back heel. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, low crescent lunge, hands to the mat. Plant your right hand in here. Inhale, easy twist. Hold for three. We'll find horizon lunge in two. One horizon lunge, open up to the knife edge of both of your feet. Here for three, two, one. Low lunge, hands on either side of your left foot, right knee to, right knee to the mat. Inhale, low crescent. Exhale, bend your left elbow, grab it with your right hand. Continue to breathe, stay here, or find the cow face arms. Whatever feels best tonight, here for three. 
two, one, inhale, arms overhead, exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, lift your back knee up off the mat, exhale, forward fold, left foot meet, the right foot meets your left. Inhale, halfway lift, realign the spine, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, sit low, reach high. Exhale to sit lower. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, lift your left leg up. Exhale, high crescent lunge, airplane arms. Lift up off of your back heel. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, low lunge, hands to the mat. Release your back knee down or keep it lifted. Inhale, easy twist. Here for three, two, one. Exhale, horizon lunge, open up on each side here. Feel that opening here for three, two, one. Find low lunge. Lift up off of your back knee, then release down. Inhale, low crescent lunge, hips push forward. Exhale, bend your right elbow, grab it with your left hand. Stay here or find cow face arms. Continue to breathe here for three, two, one, inhale, both arms overhead, exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, lift your back knee up off the mat. Exhale, forward fold, left foot meets your right. Inhale, halfway lift, find that flat back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, long neck. Exhale, fold forward, head hangs heavy. Slowly come down to a seat. And we'll begin to get ready for some core work. I added the song in for a little fun and little motivation. So from here, you're gonna roll onto your back. Bring your feet up overhead, legs up the wall pose. If this is too much, you can keep your knees bent. But if your feet are overhead, flex your toes towards you. You can bend your knees generously as well. Interlace your fingers, all of them except for your index and thumb. Prepare to point towards your big toes here. Find somewhere on the ceiling to hold your gaze. Take an inhale. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Keep going at your own pace. The faster you go, the more cardio you'll get. The slower you go, the more you really will engage that core. So it's up to you, but you've got this either way. Try to lift both shoulder blades up off the mat as you lift up. Keep your gaze on the ceiling to keep your neck long, keep it protected. Looking forward will strain your neck, even though it seems counterintuitive. Keep going. We've got this. Push it. We won't be here for too much longer. Just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Keep your legs where they are. Keep your hands as they are. We're gonna find right and then left. So inhale to lift. Exhale, hands to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Inhale, center, exhale, right. Inhale, center, exhale, left. If you can, try and keep those shoulder blades up off the mat the whole time and just find this twist left and right. For me, I can't get my shoulder blades totally off, don't have quite strong enough core, but I keep just the very bottom of my shoulder blades down. So as long as you're lifting at any capacity, that's helpful. Big open mouth exhales. Keep going. Keep going. Just eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
four, three, two, one, release. Legs long, arms overhead. Big inhale. Big exhale. Knees to chest. Rock and roll along your spine. A few times. Eventually coming up to a seat, preparing for boat pose. Hands underneath your knees, triangle with your legs in the mat. Shoulders lift up and back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lift your heart up towards the ceiling. Inhale, boat pose. Feet up off the mat. Now you have options. Stay here. Maybe lift your palms out from underneath your knees. Keep your palms up if so to keep your chest open wide, heart lifted. Keep breathing here or you can lift your legs up straight. Whatever's in your practice. Use open mouth exhales. Here for just eight, seven, Six, five, four, we'll find high to low bow in three, two, one. Exhale, lower, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. If this is too much on your back, as you exhale lower, you bring your hands to the mat behind on each side of your um, hips to help protect your low back. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cross your legs over, step back. Find a vinyasa flow. So I want you to find a chaturanga if you can, and then hold your up dog for a little bit longer. Tuck your tailbone a lot. Feel your core stretch. Maybe look to the left and then to the right. Feel that opening and exhale down dog. Take a moment, find your center. Big inhale. Big exhale. One more, just like that. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, yogi squat. Feet reach outside of the outer edges of your mat. Bend your knees generously. And then bring your hands to heart center. Use this for a moment to use whatever you'd like in your body. So you have options here of what you want to get out of this. You want to open your hips. Press your elbows into your knees, palms together, feel that opening. You can even use a block if you have one underneath your glutes to really open your hips. If you wanna really open or activate your low body and find strength there, lift up just a little. Finding a very deep squat here, yogi squat. Whichever variation you're in, keep your spine long, vertebrae stacked, heart open. And then from here, as always, you can stay in whatever variation you're in, or this is your time to practice anything you'd like to expand in your practice. And if you ever have a request that you want me to focus on in class, let me know. I'd love to build up to a pose. So you can do handstand, forearm stand, headstand. You can do arm balance. You can do crow. You can do a stretch if your body's really needing a stretch right now. I always talk us through flying frog as it's most accessible from here. So flying frog here with your palms, with your elbows down far inside of your thighs, hands to the mat, feet come back. Knees are outside of your forearms. Gaze forward. Always keep that gaze forward to protect you from falling. Then lift both feet up off the mat. Flex those toes up towards your glutes. Use your fingertips as if they're toes. Your hands are your feet right now. Keep breathing. Another variation you have as an option is crow. 
with your knees just pinned in a little bit more and in line with those triceps. So squeezing those knees in, keeping that gaze forward, lifting up one foot and then the other towards your glutes, keeping your knees bent or your elbows bent, or you can straighten them as much as you can. You might still be holding yogi squat and that's okay too. From here, wherever you are, we'll be here for three, two, one. Bring your legs out long in front of you. Then I'm gonna face this way so you can see. I want you to take your right leg and come to a seat so that your right foot is outside your right glute. And then your left leg is long. From here, inhale, lift, exhale, seated forward fold. Grab for your ankle, your calf, or that foot. Let your gaze come down. Try to keep both glutes on the mat here. Here for three, two, one. And then just switch your feet out. So I'll face the front of the mat now. You're gonna wanna bring your left foot outside of your left glute. Try to keep that left knee on the mat if you can. If you need a block, feel free to use one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, seated separate leg forward fold. Grab for that right foot. Flex your right toes towards you. Let your head hang heavy. You can also grab for your calves. Try to keep your spine long. Try to avoid over curving your spine here. Here for three, two, one. This next pose, you might wanna use a block. Sorry, I didn't call it out earlier, but if you have a block, grab one. You might not even need it, but what you're gonna do is come to a seat between your feet. So your feet are gonna be outside of both of your glutes this time. You wanna bring your knees as close as you can to touch. And if this is too much for you, then you can take that block, bring it underneath your glutes to lift up your a little bit and be able to bring your knees closer together. So it's totally up to you. Once you've come to a seat and you find comfort here, bring your hands onto your heels and then come down onto one elbow and then the other. You can stay here or Tuck your tailbone a lot, continue to tuck your tailbone and you can roll onto your back. Maybe grabbing your elbows overhead. You'll feel this through your quads, even in your hips. Try to keep your knees towards the mat and squeezing together. If it feels like it's too much, lean back up and you can always use that block as well as you find yourself in any variation of this pose. Here for three, two, one. Slowly lift your chest up. Move your block back, come up to standing on your knees. Knees about hip width distance apart. Two fists between your knees again is a good rule of thumb. We're gonna find camel pose. So you want your feet in line with your knees, your knees over your hips. Bring your hands onto your sacrum. 
So right above your glute, zip your elbows together, look up, take an inhale. Exhale, camel, push your hips forward, lift your heart up, 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 and back. Keep your low back protected here. Here for three, two, one, slowly come back up. Head left to rise, come to seat on your feet. Palms on your knees, down for grounding, up for receiving. Slow down, find center by coming back to our breath. Do the best you can with the time, energy, and information you have in this moment. So the information I'll give to you is on a slow, slow inhale. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Hold for four, three, two, one. Exhale for four, three, two, one. One more time, hold for four, three, two, one. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Hold for four, three, two, one. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Find your way to down dog, however that may be. If you wanna find a vinyasa flow, you can. If you wanna come straight to down dog, you can do that as well. Inhale, right leg lifts. Flex your right toes, first three-legged dog of class. Exhale, half pigeon, right knee to right wrist. Hook your foot forward. And then bring your hips down. From here, you have options. Bring that foot in closer towards your left hip or push it up higher. Whatever feels best on your body, you know your body best. Hands on either side of you. Inhale, push your chest up, look up. Exhale, sleeping pigeon. Bring your chest down. Let go. You can stay here in King Pigeon again for a few more moments, or if you want to begin to wake up your pigeon, you can lift your chest up. And if you want to find King Pigeon, you're going to bend that back knee, rotate your chest open to the left side, and grab for your left foot with your left hand. You can either grab it here, pull it in, put your arm up overhead, or if you can bring it in towards your elbow, you can find full king pigeon here. Whatever's in your practice, you can also still be in sleeping pigeon. We'll be here for three, two, one. Release, lift up from sleeping pigeon. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg lifts up and back. Bend that knee a lot, do knee circles. Flip your dog if you'd like. eventually finding center in your down dog. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg lifts, flex your left toes. Exhale, half pigeon on the left. 
Left knee to left wrist, hook that foot forward. Again, doing whatever you need to get into this pose, but whichever feels best on your body. Hip square forward. Once you find that position that feels best in your body, inhale, push your chest up. Exhale, sleeping pigeon. You can stay in sleeping pigeon here, or if you want to try king pigeon, you can slowly wake up your body, twist your torso to the right side, bend your right knee, grab for your right foot. And as you grab for that right foot, you can bring your left arm overhead, twisting here, or if you can, bring it into your right elbow crease and then interlace your fingers, keeping your chest open to the side. Feel this through your hip and your quad. Here for three, wherever you are, two, one, release. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg lifts up and back. Open up that knee, do knee circles, and maybe flip your dog. Here for three, find down dog in two. One. Last down dog of class, take a big inhale, big exhale. Inhale to tabletop position on your hands and knees. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, knees over your hips. Press down a little bit further through your left hand. Inhale, right arm reaches high. Look up at your right fingertips, maybe you wiggle them. Exhale, thread the needle. Right arm comes underneath that left hand, that left arm. Right palm facing up. Feel that twist. Here for three, two, one. Inhale, right arm lift. Exhale, tabletop. Inhale, left arm lift. Exhale, thread the needle. Left. Ear on the mat, press your right hand down, left palm faces up. Here for three, two, one, inhale, left arm lift. 
Exhale, tabletop. Rotate your feet around to meet the front. Find Supta Baddha Konasana leg. So big toes to touch, feet together, knees wide. Bring your hands onto your feet. Press your thumbs into the uh, curvature of your feet. I always forget what six, my feet are so flat. The arch of your foot, that's what it is. Press your thumbs into the arch of your foot. Elbows into your hips or your thighs rather. Take an inhale, lift up. Exhale, slowly fall forward. Feel those hips open up. Let your head hang heavy. Here for three, two, one, slowly roll up. Face the front of your mat, scoot towards the front. If you have whatever you use to play your music, bring it with you slowly on your back. From here, find happy baby. Press your feet into your hands, your hands into your feet, your knees wide. Let your back lift up off the mat to get a back release. Or if you want to get more of a hamstring stretch, keep your low back pinned into the mat. Knees wide here. Press down. Press your feet into your hands, your hands into your feet. Stay here, continue to hold this pose. Find happy baby as long as you'd like, or if you want to flow with me through a little extra poses, you can lift your hips up, finding shoulder stand, hips over your shoulders, flexing your toes. You can stay here or exhale, find plow pose. Feet overhead onto the mat. You can interlace your fingers, bringing them long, shimmying your shoulders together to find some extra space. Stay here if this is enough, if this feels good, or bend those knees, finding deaf man's pose. you're in deaf man's pose, find plow pose. If you're in plow pose, find shoulder stand. If you're in shoulder stand slowly with control, come down onto your back. Release your left leg long, squeeze your right knee in with both hands, squeeze in that right knee, take an inhale, exhale, supine twist, right knee over to the left, flip to the right. Try to keep your right shoulder pinned on the mat more than getting that knee over. Here for three, two, one. Inhale to center, lift both knees up. Exhale, release your right leg long. Squeeze that left knee in as you inhale with both hands. Exhale, supine twist on the opposite side. You can take your left arm, bring it out long if you'd like, or you can always find cactus arms, bending your elbows. Again, try to get that left shoulder onto the mat more than anything. Take an inhale. Exhale. Here for three, two, one. Inhale to center. Keep your knees up towards your chest. Take a moment, find your music if, you, if it's near you. If it's near you, pull up the playlist and then play 
Moon, the second to last song. Compress that song in three, two, one. From here, lift your forehead towards your knees. Grab for opposite elbows, squeeze and activate every muscle, every part of your body, your toes, your fingers, your core, your jaw, your eyebrows. Squeeze for three, a little tighter for two. And finally release one, final Shavasana. You have options. I always like to do a supported bridge. You can bring your knees together, legs wide, feet together, knees wide. You can find log legs, long arms. Whichever you decide, slowly release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Feel your jaw relax. Find space between your eyebrows. And slowly let go. I will call you out whenever the time is ready. This space is yours, yogis, for as long as you'd like. If you feel comfortable in this space you are in now, feel free to stay here. When and if you're ready, begin to wake up your body by wiggling your fingers and your toes. Maybe press your thumb into each finger pad. And then slowly bring your legs long, your arms up overhead. Find your biggest stretch yet today. Take a big inhale. Exhale, lift your knees up towards your chest, grabbing them in, take, side, take note of which side of your nose is a little more congested and roll to the opposite side for fetal position. Keep your eyes closed or find a soft gaze here in this space. As you lie here, remind yourself of what or who you dedicated yourself to at the beginning of practice. Coming back to that intention, noticing how different you feel in this space after giving a full hour to your mind and your body and your soul. 
strengthening and lengthening, listening and loving. Remembering you doing the best you can with the time, energy, and information you have in each moment. Knowing you're doing just that is more than enough, infinitely more than enough. And knowing that you're doing that for yourself, with yourself, is more than any type of external validation that you can receive. The next time you feel unsure or uneasy, just know that you are doing the best you can with the time, energy, and information you have. And that is exactly what we need. Slowly come up to a seat, facing your camera. You keep your eyes closed or find a soft gaze as you come to a seat and cross your legs here. Swing back just a little. As you find cross legged here, you can bring your hands to your knees up for receiving, down for grounding. Then inhale your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, bring them down and back. Slowly bring your chin to your chest. Roll your neck around to the right. And to the left. From here, slowly bring your hands together at heart center. Stack your vertebrae over one another, finding length. Press your hands into your heart, reminding you to have pure and loving intentions. Lift your hands to your mouth, reminding you to have pure and loving communication. And finally, lift your hands to your third eye center, reminding you to have pure and loving thoughts. The love, the light, and the whole true self within me honors the love, the light, and the whole true self within you. Namaste.